Hi there. Today we're going to make phyllo dough pizza. I've never done this before, so this is going to be an experiment. Um, trying to figure out what to have today for dinner, and I looked in the freezer, looking around, and I saw this. I was like, what can I make with this phyllo dough? I picked it up at Walmart on a whim one day. And on the back is a recipe for uh, tomato and goat cheese pizza. Well, we don't have any tomatoes, but I'll make a traditional pizza using phyllo dough. So we'll see how it goes, so follow along. All right, here's the ingredients for Sue's phyllo dough pizza. Of course, we've got some uh, phyllo dough here. And we have some uh, sausage. It's already been uh, browned up. We got some Parmesan cheese, some garlic. This is the uh, minced garlic. We're gonna use some oregano leaves, cilantro leaves, chopped chives, uh, of course, pizza sauce. We got some mozzarella cheese. Now she's going to use, this is actually goat cheese. She's going to use that in part of it. Uh, she won't use it in mine because goat cheese is very sour. So uh, you can use it or not use it. I prefer not. <laughs> the uh, We have some uh, mushrooms here and of course some pepperoni. So this is all the ingredients for the uh, phyllo dough pizza. Okay, first what we're going to do is take one pack of phyllo dough. I'm not, not... I know it's real thin, and we take it, unroll it. So this has been a long time since I've used phyllo dough. Look at it here. Oh, it's longer than this, so I don't know that this is going to work unless we go up and over the edge. I may need a bigger pan. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just stack it up on the edge. What do you think of that? Okay. And roll three. And we're going to spray some olive oil on each layer. And it says to sprinkle a little cheese, so I'm going to use this. We don't have much Parmesan, so we're just going to use a little teensy bit. We have a lot less than I thought <laughs> per layer here. Oh, garlic. Let's put some garlic in each layer. What do you think of that? because you can never go wrong with too much garlic. And that's Bob saying, right? Okay, we're ready to put the last layer on. Boy, these really are dried out here. So I'm gonna spread, spray the uh, spray on here. And then put just a dash of garlic on. Actually, we're gonna hold off on that because next we'll put some pizza sauce on it. Get that spread around. Probably won't take much of this. This is ragu pizza quick sauce. We use this for uh, pizza, for lots of different things. Use it in lasagna. You could use it in spaghetti sauce. That might be enough there, what do you think? Because you don't want it soggy. Like I said, this is an experiment, so We've got the oven going at um, 375. We're going to cook it for for uh, five minutes to see how that goes. Let me. Okay, now we're going to put this in the uh, um, Oster air fryer convection oven for five minutes at 375. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oh, we got to get that one tray out. this in here. I don't know how that's going to work there. We'll see. We shall see. Got it set for five. There we go. Okay, it's been five minutes here uh, in the toaster oven here, so we're going to take it out and check it. Look at that. Looks like it's got a nice start, so let's take it out and finish putting on... Oh, I got the thing under there. Don't need that. 
and finish putting the rest of the toppings on. Looks good, it's starting to dry out and brown. Oh, see it's very flaky. So we'll start with the pepperoni. So we'll lay some of that across. Pup, pup, pepperoni. Here comes the pepperoni. We'll see how this turns out. I'm anxious to see. Hope it turns out good. Get this last little bit out of here. There's another thing used up. We are used, this is the end of the month, almost time for doing groceries. So we're using up what we, what we don't want, the foil packet. So we're going to, uh, we're using up what's left. What we don't have, we don't have. Two left over, we'll shove them in here somewhere. We'll find room. All right, let's see, what next? Let me put the mushrooms on next here. Now, I want them to, to be on top because that way they can brown up a little bit. Let's use some of this sausage here. I browned this up this morning. We had uh, sausage patties for breakfast and I saved uh, some of it out for pizza. After I figured out I wanna do pizza. So sausage and pepperoni pizza is one of my favorites. If we had bacon, we'd put that on there too. Because who doesn't love bacon? I think it should be one of the four food groups, don't you? So there's that. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's get rid of this. Put some spices on. We're gonna, just, we decided to hold off the uh, goat cheese until after, I'll put a little bit on mine afterwards. So, a little bit of cilantro. Try the other side. Just sprinkle it. A little bit of chopped chives. I was gonna put onions on, I decided to do this instead because it's not gonna cook very long. And I like onions, but not, I love raw onions, but I don't really want raw onions on my pizza. I want them cooked a little bit. If we were gonna cook them in the regular oven, I might have used regular onions. Oh, and this is oregano leaves. So there's a nice blend of spices. Now we're going to use some mushrooms. So I'll try and lay these on neatly. So I'll start laying them on neatly. Let's put it that way. How's that sound? Who knows that's how they'll end up. These are nice sliced mushrooms. Okay, so much for the neatness. I told you it wouldn't last long. So far, only one dish to clean. And we're almost out of mozzarella, so this be it for the mozzarella. So we'll go sparingly on the mozzarella till we get it, some on each piece. Now when I'm done, we're gonna put it in the oven for, uh, back in at 375 for, we'll start with 10 minutes and we'll check it before that because we don't want this to burn. Actually, this looks like it should be a nice amount of mozzarella for it. Not overly cheesy. We'll see how that does. A little there, a little there. That's all she wrote. That's it for the mozzarella. So let's go ahead, see there she is. What do you think? Filo pizza. So let's put this back in the uh, toaster oven, in the, uh, that turn around, we don't want that tag. Back in the uh, oven, it's a convection oven is what it is. So uh, we actually have it on bake. So we're gonna put it back in and set it, it's at 375. 
and my hands are greasy, so it's not going to turn. About 10 minutes, so we'll check at about five and see how it goes. So there she is. We'll be back when it's ready. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're going to check and see how it looks. Oh, that looks nice. It's nicely browned and everything, so let's go ahead and get this out. Try and not take the tr tray this time. Oh, yeah. Nicely browned. I wish I had smell-o-vision. Smells really good, so what do you think? That looks like phyllo pizza, so let's go ahead. Should we let it sit for a minute? Go ahead and cut it then. Let's try cutting it up here. So I'm not sure how to cut it here. Let's do it into thirds here, I guess. Feels nice and crunchy in there. All right. Well, there, I hope that cut through. It may not have, so it might be fun getting it out. So let's try dishing up some of this here and see what it looks like here. Didn't, I definitely didn't cut all the way through. There we go. There, I think that did it. Try and get some out here. Like I said, it's an experiment, folks. <laughs> the bottom piece isn't cutting across. There we go. Wow, it looks pretty good. Nice and flaky. Look at look how fl flaky that is. And shall we try? Let's try a little taste here. It's going to be hot, so don't mind my. It's pretty good. Very good. Thanks for following along making phyllo dough pizza. Hope if you want to try it sometime. Put whatever ingredients you want on it. That's all up to you. We just did sausage and pepperoni. Okay, so here's the end result for our phyllo dough pizza. I can't wait to dig in. I've already tasted it. it tasted really good. Thanks for following along today. I hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Uh, I want to thank you for watching our video today. Uh, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you Please subscribe if you're not already. I invite you to subscribe um, and to ring the bell if you want to be notified of future uh, videos. Bob posts videos, um, a cooking video every Wednesday, uh, Parks and Cities every Friday, uh, and on uh, on Sunday, excuse me, Sunday. And on Friday, it's a tech review, how-to review, product review on Friday. And then on Monday afternoons at 6 and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m., we do a live chat and those are fun. It's a small group, but we're all like family. So hope you join us sometime. So hope you follow along and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy eating. If you'd like to support our channel, we have links down below that you can click on. Uh, we have the, we're an Amazon affiliate. We have stickers available. We have a, a t-shirt store where you can buy t-shirts and coffee chat mugs. Or if you just want to support us, you can support us through the PayPal link. So we appreciate all your help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.